do not become impatient or angry or frustrated with your contemplations or practice. I say this because sometimes people go, I am so tired of my mind, and I am so tired of you. No, no. That is playing into the mind, into the mind field. No? Of course, it is only the mind that is having trouble. Your heart is not having any trouble. It is your mind and the mind-made identity that you take to be so important and real that is struggling. It is the very mind itself that says it is troubled by the mind, actually. Not uh, when I say mind, you are not only mind. It's like a mixture, a cocktail between mind, between person and presence. Some little thing is there, you see, and so this type of play can happen. Uh, the higher aspect of the self, in in its manifestation, is growing and discovering, but sometimes frustration comes from the mind side. It's, oh, I don't know. I am not doing any progress. Oh, maybe I should go and do something else. And so, you see. So when these things do come, which they do from time to time, be quiet. Uh, keep your peace. And just if you are quiet, you will soon notice it's just my mind. My mind is pretending to be dissatisfied. I say pretending. You hear me? I say pretending, and you are because you identify with it. You think you are dissatisfied. You must come to know the difference between yourself and your mind. Most people in the world, even the ones who are so gifted to make spaceships and aeroplanes and stuff, they may not know the difference between themselves and their mind. So you are that which observes your mind. If you mix the two and you believe you are, because this is what a person fundamentally is, fundamentally, but uh, mostly is, uh, then what happens is that doubts will follow you around a lot. But when you begin to look from the stage you are now, because you have been following my guidance for a while, so you have developed the capacity within yourself, your deeper powers are being released enough to see. And to discern the difference between ah, oh, this is the mind again, oh, this is ego coming again. Sometimes it's so quick that it feels you feel like you are late. He's already in. The thief is already in the house. But you know what? Uh, this is a glass house. It's like a thief in a glass house. So wherever he's hiding, he cannot hide because everything is transparent. This is the gift of your being. You see? Uh, do, do you understand what I am saying? Because it is very important that you, we are understanding that. What do I mean by that? Is that uh, for much of your life, the ego has been hiding inside your name. You see? When you stand up, he stands up. When you sit down, he sits down, so to speak. No? When you have a thought going, oh, I can't stand this, you think it's your thought, but it's just mind. And this has been the, the relationship we have developed. It's a bad marriage. Okay? But you don't even know enough to get a divorce from it. Now you are realizing that actually this is just the way that life works, that the more wise you become to yourself, and no other study in the human kingdom can equip you as well to transcend and to expose the delusion than what we are sharing also if by if you are uh, someone a christian muslim whatever you have a relationship with god you pray that will help you to clean up and to overcome that is also for overcoming the ego by the way in its purity it is to overcome the ego and to awaken to god self god reality here we are also going very direct because you cannot find truth without the one you call God, meaning the pure consciousness also. It manifests itself in many different forms and in many different ways to guide the different peoples of the world according to their temperament. It gives them their traditions and their particular way that they must search to find it. You see? But we are confused because we believe so much in our personal identity. You think that other ways of thinking 
are wrong because they're not your way of thinking. This is ignorance, you see. Anyway, that was only my first point. Second point. The ego grew and became strong due to the strength of belief in it, and so it was accepted as who we are and unquestioned for so long. But now things are changing. Next one. Don't uh, think ego is all bad, horrible, horrible. No, no, no. Initially, it was the I ego's desire to find the self that brought you so far. Thereafter, or at a certain point, as you grow, it is recognized, the ego is recognized to be an illusion as the real self becomes obvious to itself. Did you understand that one? Very good. Very good. Did you understand that one? I ask again. Mm. So it, it is this, the one who wants to find the truth in the beginning is very necessary. It's even grace. It's blessing that that arose in your heart because earlier than that, maybe you had no desire for truth. So it was still the identity at some point was searching to find the truth. And so that began your spiritual journey and quest. But as you developed and became more mature, at some point you look and see, ah, now from this place, this one I see is illusion. And then you, he cannot follow you anymore because you're home. You see? Come on, give me some feedback. I want to look. I don't have to say with words. I want to see that you're understanding. That's it. Okay, now... The next point. So, the one who feels stuck or blocked will eventually be exposed to be the false self or ego and will lose its credibility. This will be recognized in the true self. So, for some time, sometimes you yourself may have noticed going, I can't get any further, I feel blocked. I don't know what to do, and so on. And why is that so powerful? Because it's identified with, it's taken to be true, and you believe it is yourself. You see? So what I wrote here is that the one who feels stuck or blocked will eventually be exposed to be the false self or ego and will then lose its credibility, its apparent credibility. This will be recognized when you reach the true self, you will have a chance to um, to later. Me, you can look over these notes again. Next one. When the Self is realized, it will be obvious that it was, it is, and always is here, perfect, timeless, unchanging, and imperishable. You see? As the Self is realized, when it is realized, it will be obvious that it was always here. It was, it is, and will always be. Perfect, timeless, unchanging, imperishable. Next one. If or when it feels difficult or even impossible to surpass the personal identity, Turn to prayer and ask God to absorb or merge the mind inside Him, who is the Self. You understand this one? Sometimes we are feeling, you know, whoa, I can't, just can't focus on the inquiry. It's too impersonal, and I can feel my identity so strong. I'm so strong identity. 
then in that case, if you are not able to follow through with the inquiry, then turn to prayer. Ask God like that. You ask Him like this, you see. Uh, turn to prayer and ask God to absorb and merge the mind inside the self, inside Him. This is another one. Next one. It is only the mind that believes in the mind. Turn the mind's attention to the heart again and again by remaining mind's formless weakness, and it will merge inside the heart uh, gradually. So again, it is the mind that is that believes in the mind. It is the mind. Uh, constructed identity that is believing and have a relationship with the mind. Turn this mind's attention towards the heart or the self, as I've shown you. Do it again and again by remaining the weakness of the mind itself, and it will gradually merge in the heart and be quiet. Now, I don't expect as I speak this, oh, immediately it is so. No, sit with it. And marinate, look, verify, keep quiet and see like this. And for now, I'm going to read you maybe the last one. What you call death is only a door you will pass through uh, without stopping there what we call death, that terrifies so many people. It is only a door, a curtain. Like Rumi, I think you are coming now, Rumi said like this, Don't be worried for me when I leave this body. I am just passing through a curtain into paradise. What it mean? Hmm? Don't worry. So, let me see uh, how many I have got here. Yes. So I've I've read eight of them. I have eight more. I'll leave that for later. How about that? Enough for the moment. Okay. <laughs> 